end of the season, folks. These are our little apple trees. Now, this is our little private garden, not our orchard, but what we have here are our apples. We've got a couple of apple trees. We've got a plum here that hasn't fruited, and it needs to be pruned because we missed on the summer prune, and I've spoken about this. Craig talks about it all the time, a summer prune. Bring it down to arm's reach so you can give the tree a chance to settle down. So if you've got fruit trees and you haven't pruned them, give them a prune now, and then in winter time, late winter, early spring, if you like, or late winter, August, give it another prune and thin out all the other branches that you don't need. There's a lot of stuff going on in here that we don't need. All these little wispy branches in the middle, they're useless. You can keep them if you like, if you're going to bring the tree right down. But in my case here, I'm going to bring it back down to where I pruned it last year, just there. So I'm going to go around and clean it all up. There's no real concern about picking the exact spot if you want to be pedantic about it yes look for your buds and count them all the way up and just cut above the last bud that you want to pick not below it and that way you actually get some new growth where you want it to be in this case here i'm just going to bring it down thin it out so i've got a nice open vase and hopefully by springtime we get something developing on that but over here have a look at this this is our granny smith apple now it's done magnificently well this year. We didn't spray this with CGWS. Now, that's our Citrus Guard white spray for our Citrus Gore Wasp. On this tree, we didn't spray it, but we did spray it on that tree there, and we were very successful in controlling codling moth. Not gall wasp, codling moth. This one here got attacked, and you can see all the fruit here. Have a look at this. All the little holes there. Plenty of codling moth everywhere. Fallen apples, that's a no-no. Yeah, 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 I haven't picked them all up. But they've got to be picked up. Don't leave them in the ground. Make sure you clear all that. But also, all the upright growth. That's a summer growth there. Now, this tree is not too late to prune because you can see it's still got all its leaves on there. So you give it a good prune. Like I'm going to do it now. Take all that upright growth off. And I've got a nice open bar shape happening already there. So come, come winter time, not springtime, come late winter time. I'll have a look when all the foliage has fallen off to see if I've got any dying diseased or damaged wood on the tree that I need to clean out. So what you do here is basically take all these down to two or three buds approximately from their upright and hopefully they turn into fruit bearing spurs. Have a look at that. That's all I'm doing there. Taking them down to that point there. Now you can look for buds that look like the backside of a spider because they're the ones that are going to actually fruit for you. Where are we? Here. See there? That's going to produce some fruit next year for me. And these ones up there, well, they're growing straight up. They don't produce any fruit. You want an op open branch or outward facing branching, and that's where you get your fruit. And all the upright stuff, cut it right off. And a year or two later, we get some fruit. So if you haven't pruned your fruit trees, get out there and prune them today. Marisi.